What's up, guys? Vince Roddy here. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda. Damn, that song is still in my head. Kung Fu Panda. I don't even know where that song came from. It's like some random rap song or that I found on TikTok. And I did a skit that Jack Black was in, but I'm not going to show it because it requires showing my face. So, you know. <laughs> yep. I could. This could have been a perfect time to really show that. But other than that, welcome to my, I guess, thoughts review. And about, yeah, Kung Fu Panda 4. Listen, I, can I be real? I literally forgot about the previous Kung Fu Pandas. The moment that I saw the enemies, I was like, who? Tai Lo what? King what? Hen what? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Because, listen, when it comes down to Kung Fu Panda, I'm here for Jack Black and that's it. <laughs> what you want from me? And also the beautiful aesthetics that, you know, DreamWorks has been putting out for the longest time. It's safe to say that I really enjoyed this movie. And it wasn't anything serious. I know the tropes. I know the plots here and there from the back of my head. It was literally just for nostalgic reasons. I watched Kung Fu Panda, at least all of them, for the longest time. And I, of course I forget them because, you know, with the amount of content that you have to really devour it's just a lot just how like you know kung fu panda devours all these dumplings but it's a uh, it's just a good amount of fun and yes it's a perfect like family movie in some sense there were some jokes or that i was like should we i i don't know there was one where i'm like uh uh what the heck not sure that if that was funny or I don't even know if that was appropriate. But yeah, just just one as long as they don't really get it or anything like that. But man, they try to cater the adult jokes to the adults, of course, and but kids can easily get it. And it's, I miss those days where it's like you make a joke clever enough to know like kids are not going to get it. But I, I hope that kids don't get it when. But then again, we live in an age where, you know. As long as your kids are not involved, like having like a smartphone or anything until they turn 15, like, you know, but then again, what I would, what I, I'm not a parent. So what do I know? <laughs> Am I right? Uh, but this movie itself, Kung Fu Panda, the aesthetics and everything else, because the moment I heard that Kung Fu Panda 4 was out, I don't even remember the reaction or if I even give a reaction. I was just like, oh, huh, look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's the same thing with anything else. Ghostbusters. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> at least with Kung Fu Panda, I was like, oh, huh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Listen, if there was another Robots. Remember Robots? Was that from DreamWorks? I know it's a Disney S movie a long time ago. Man, would that be amazing. God, another Robots movie. Just imagine how it... God. I mean, when I saw Wallace and Gromit... Not Wallace and Gromit. Sorry, sorry. Wrong British. Chicken Run. Chicken Run. The second Chicken Run. I was like, huh, that's kind of crazy. So I kind of give a more reaction to that. And listen, I know what these big corporations are trying to do when it comes down to my reaction to these certain things. They're just like, yep, come on. What do you say? Huh? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. And I'm just like, yeah, it's cool, but I mean, my life is too busy. You know, some things just become numb, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely like, wow, Kung Fu Panda 4. Because I know that Kung Fu Panda Tree, like, they definitely play the dynamics with the fodder coming back alongside with. And I'm trying to think if it counts as two dads. So, what, you, you got, are these dads together, but not as lovers? But it's also like, huh? Like, I don't know if there's a way to appeal this to the Chinese audience because it is based in China. So I'm just a thinking like, okay, this. so, you know, Kung Fu Panda has two dads. Now, me being from the community, would that counter as like two husbands? Or not? I just, I'm, I, I got confused in that front. And of course, Aquafina. Once again, listen, Aquafina at this point should set the record of the amount of Asian voice acting roles ever. Okay, 
Like how many of these? How are, how, are we going to keep doing this? Anything that comes from China, Asia, or some sort of shoot, freaking Ray of the Dragon. Where was that based in? Indonesia slash Philippines or something? And I would know because I'm Filipino. But I'm like, they erase so much of the, you know, it's, it's so different. Because I really still remember, and I'm just going to talk about Raya the Last Dragon for just a minute. When you erase the European, you know, colonizing, and I get what they're tro- why they try to do that because most... I guess in that current time when it was airing, at least from what I seen, most Asians were like, you know, pulling out the European, you know, colonial sense, like, you know, because like Indonesia was part of Dutch and also uh, Philippines was part of Spanish uh, and they're trying to pull it out. And I guess that's what Ray and the Last Dragon is trying to portray as because these are sort of people that are portraying those ethnicities in a sense and aquafina just plays that even though like what is she korean i believe so it's like every role of korean characters in every single just like major animation studio that they produce they just like yep let's call it aquafina because obviously that's the author like like there are so many many voice actors where you just couldn't pull but my god but yeah that's literally i remember the one thing already last dragon that i didn't mention because listen it's been a long time since i saw that movie that yeah they when they when you pull the things that make certain countries because here's the thing like there's a reason, like, you know, why it's called the Philippines or why Indonesia, the way it is, why, you know, like, you know, Vietnam, the way it is or something like that. And yes, you could have the opinion that European influence or Western influence ruined those countries. Not everything about it ruins it. There's still part of it. And, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, colonization is OK. No, this it's. It's either okay or not, but it's also the identity. Listen, what do you, what do you think th- I speak the language I speak? What would America be like if my language wasn't English? English is a known language in the world. I mean, the same with Spanish and French. Like, it's a known language, okay? You're understanding what I'm hearing, and you could be from freaking Ukraine or the UK or from India or from, you know, the Philippines, of course, my home. Uh, and, you know, you can understand what I'm saying. Because thanks to the Brits, they invented a language that is kind of like well known throughout like pretty much almost 90% of the world itself. You know, and I could be wrong with that. Okay, I'm not here to approve. But I'm just like, yeah, if you rip out like the colors that makes the colors, it's kind of like not that country anymore. And I guess they're not trying to portray that Ray and Last Dragon. Anyways, back to Kung Fu Panda. Um, yeah, it was a good movie. Listen, I know for a fact that they're, you know, the moment I saw Aquafina's character, and I'm just going to call it Aquafina, is the moment where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to like this character. Look, the, and also I just like how, like, what, the family that she's portrayed in inside of this, you know, like you know facility that she's a part of or a gang of groups or just something like that just like in the underground is sort of like have these morals that's kind of like one part that i really enjoyed i was like okay the morals of just like making things you know just make the pain slower (laughs) so the pain is more exciting later on it's like okay like so if we do the right thing we're doing it for the wrong reasons and i and I couldn't help but really put that into, like, the same analogies when it comes down to piracy. Like, we're doing this the right things. But at the same time, it's also the wrong thing. But it's for the right reasons. <laughs> I'm just like, sure. Okay. I'm not, you know, it's, that's what it sounds like. It just sounds like the improvement of piracy. That's just, like, which they should be pirates you know i'm just saying like you know kung fu panda 5 boom make it as pirates one one piece panda oh my god that would be nice uh the movie yeah that's right so i liked it i like the i guess the chemistry between the two dads even though i don't really feel much about it 
everything is just how it is and jack black is jack black you know as a panda and just you know the fight scenes are pretty fun as well i don't really know the major impacts personally when it comes down to me seeing this movie other than the beautiful visuals the food a lot of times i got hungry i was like man i want to eat something while watching this and the villain itself i do like the villain you know the way it shape forms and just like you know the fine style and you know just like the different fine scenarios between the Kung Fu panda like those were fun to watch other than that, I just don't really see much. Like, I don't see, even though she raised Aquafina, that to be much more in Aquafina, of course, had to change her heart that quickly. I wish they did it like the Netflix show because there was a Kung Fu Panda Netflix, and I kind of wish they kind of like stretch out a bit more. And when I heard a new, new Kung Fu Panda, I really thought it was going to be Netflix. No, it's a new movie. And yeah, that's just it. I feel like I couldn't give a much more authentic review of this. I feel like, you know, seeing all the enemies that Kung Fu Panda, you know, just obliterated and seeing the back and in peace with Kung Fu Panda. Because there was a part of me, like, and this is going to spoilers, okay, spoiler alert, that, or maybe not spoilers, I'm going to try my best, but I really thought there was a certain chance, at least seen from the gate, if you know what I mean, the gate, the dragon gate. I really thought I was going to see the master. Just saying. And some of you are like, what What do you mean, master? Oh, you... From Kung Fu Panda 1. The turtle. Or the tortoise? The turtle. Tortoise. Listen. <laughs> I, I don't even think I was like even five when I at least was saw the first ever Kung Fu Panda. But I, I think it's a tortoise. But I freaking don't know. It was a long ass time ago, that's for sure. But yeah, the turtle, the tortoise, I really thought I was going to see him again. I really thought all the enemies and everyone that was coming back from the Dragon Gate, if you know what I mean. I tried my best not to make spoilers, but I would have been shocked if I saw him again there. I was like, oh, 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 no. And you know, the chameleon, you know what she would do. That would have been crazy. I was really ready for a breaking moment of Kung Fu Panda. Just like what really gets them. And I feel like there could have been more emotions surrounding them. Because DreamWorks is good at that, right? Shrek? Um, but yeah. It's just a fun movie. Fun Kung Fu movie that I don't really see much. I didn't laugh much. I enjoyed the fighting scenes. And when I try to boil it down, I guess I just give it a 7, I guess? Out of 10, at least in my part, some people give it lower. I'm being too kind here. So, you know, some people give it lower. Then again, I'm not a movie reviewer. I'm just a person that enjoys the damn movie. What do you want from me? You think you see any movies around these streets in my freaking channel? Shoot. <laughs> Man, you ever seen my review? If Listen, if I try to review Dune 1, oh boy. Just oh boy. You would click out the video even for 30 seconds like that. Okay, this guy's drunk. Okay, I'm out of here. You know what I mean? You will listen to me and be like, yep. This guy is lost. <laughs> this guy is lost. And listen, I bet in the Kung Fu Panda, you probably were hearing all of this. And you're probably like, Vince, are you are you, are you okay? Or do, you, do you need help? Maybe I do need help. Okay, maybe I do need help from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Maybe I need to go into my inner peace, inner peace, inner peace. I do like the whole pit. Like, you know, that's a good lesson to learn. The pit, how, you know, you should be to see that grows. I don't know if it's taking like, it's almost taking like something out from, um, from Tupac. Like, you know, the rose. I forget how it goes. Shoot. I don't know. <laughs> Rich Brian song. I forget how it goes. Damn it. You know, Tupac ref... Anyways, nobody remembers Tupac. Gosh, it's freaking 2024. Who cares? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you on the one. Love and God bless.